Yes, this OTDI is a classical model, and today I'll show you how to use it in a FTTH environment. Yeah, uh, there are f eight functions of this OTDR, and today I will show you the function, the main, the main function of this OTDR. This OTDR, the first, uh, first one I, sh I will show you the OTDR function. Yeah, because this OTDR without. Uh, without touch screen, so you need to press the button up, down, left, right to select, to select the right functions you want to test. First one, I select OTDR, then press OK. Yeah, before testing, I need, you need to set the parameters, then press the F1 to set the parameters. Um, the environment I setting is a FTTH environment. The first section is a one kilometers, then one to one to sixteen splitter. The the ending path is a two kilometers cable. So I select one thousand one thousand five hundred fifty and fifteen nanometers as wavelengths. Then press the test. Then select the test range. Test range is it lead double of the total length of your setting. And because the total length I, I set it is uh, uh, three kilometers, so I select eight kilometers as the nearest selection, nearest options, the pro is to suit for the, your environment, the average time uh, to come out the testing result. Yeah, here I, I select 50 seconds. Yes, yeah, then press the F1 to test it. Yeah, because I select uh, 50 seconds before, so it lead 15 seconds to come out the testing result. Yeah, the result is coming out. Yeah, 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 right now. Yeah, here you can see the the first part is for the curves yeah first uh, the first section yeah then it then here it means there is earth uh, one splitters here yeah this is the ending patch yeah for the um, this you, you also can read the result from the distance um yeah the first section is one kilometer the second section is uh, three kilometers then press quit to out this function. Yeah, next one, show you the function of event map. Then press the right button. And select the event map by press OK. Yeah, before the same, uh, same as uh, testing before, before, te before testing, you need to set the parameter. Yeah, the wavelength. Select the wavelength, the test range, the pro width, the average time, and to meet for your the environment you are testing now. Yeah, here I select the average time of as thirty seconds. Yeah, then press test. Because I select thirty seconds just now, so it lead thirty seconds to come out the result. Yeah, here. And during the testing time, you can see, and uh, there are four function, um, four buttons at, at the bottom of this screen. The set, the set, um, the set to say set it uh, lead to test uh, setting the parameters save, and to save the testing result file. File it, um, uh, it to save the, uh, the result you are saving before. Yeah, this the OT, the OT is a direction. And if the if if you press OT, it can go back to the OTDR function direction, directly. Yeah, the result came out. Yeah, you can see, and the first section. Yeah, the first section. Yeah, it means a collection here. Yeah, this here is the splitter. Yeah, the second the second function the second section is ending pad three kilometers. Then press quit. Yeah, last the one. I'll show you how to use it, this use this OTDR to test the uh, network cables. The the collectors of the network on the uh, on the right side. Yeah, then collect the cables here. Then press OK. 
press OK and uh, press F1, it can test uh, the length of these cables. It also leads 30, uh, 50 seconds to come out the result. Yeah, only five seconds. Yeah, result came out. You can see, um, the this the cable length is uh, three point three point three point three meters. Okay.